science time in the Nickopedia zone. <laughs> we're back. Today, we're gonna be making an alcohol jet, or a pulse jet, or a jam jar jet. Seen this a bunch online, thought it was really neat. Didn't really understand the mechanism, but then I started looking at it, and I was like, oh, it's just, it's it's combustion. Oh, it's, it's just fuel, air, fire. We're gonna figure out what the hole in the top of the jar, how big that's gonna be in order to do this experiment. Because this right here is methanol. It's actually what they use to make meth. But that's not why it's called meth. Um, we actually had to Google it earlier. <laughs> I've got a bunch of these. I've got a 12 pack of these, so this might be a good place to start. This is a little bit smaller. I found this at a thrift store. Uh, Got this at Target. It's uh, made in the USA. America. America. Got my nice little Ryobi drill here. Boop, 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 boop. These things are awesome because the lithium ion battery lasts forever. Oh. All right, put a little, I've heard just, you just want to put a little bit in here. You don't want to put a lot. Don't do too much, man. Oh, I got it all over the table. Oh, God. Oh, boy, oh, you got God. meth on the table. Got meth all over the table. Gonna clear the table. Gonna put a cap on our meth. Let's see if this works. Whoa! Oh, my God! We were close. We were close. Whoa, you saw it. like jump start to that scared the crap out of me what happens is like when this works is it keeps going it's like, it like oh, it's a continuous flame it's like push it that one like psh, thing keeps going so it's like psh, and then it keeps going until the jar explodes <laughs> great oh my every time every time that scares that scares the sh out of me All right, so <laughs> I've really been scared the crap out of quite a bit today. Um, I went ahead and lit this and the flame went down, but then it popped the top right off. So at least I know it's not gonna explode with gas. Uh, at least it's not gonna shatter the glass this way. The top just popped right off, but it startled the living piss out of me. We're getting close to it working and we just haven't mastered it yet. So as soon as we do that, then we're getting out of here because it's really cold. It's really cold, so I've um, got that on there. I'm gonna put my blast shield on. Safety first. And then uh, we're gonna give it another try. It's uh, working, it's just not, you know, like going to like explosion. It's all about the oxygen, oxygen fuel ratio. We got the GM jet jar to work, or the jet jar, or whatever, but we were using mason jars. And a mason jar, the top of it is actually different. This isn't a mason jar, but um, the top of it is not one solid piece, right? This is one solid piece, and so are these. These are actual, quote unquote, jam jars. This is the actual only jam jar. That right there is jam. Another thing that we learned, uh, from last time is that you need the bottom of your container to be cold. Apparently this creates a vacuum type effect and it brings in the oxygen from the top. I think it is. I think the alcohol is too cold and it's not evaporated. So 
All right, I'm gonna light all of them. We're just gonna go for it, bro. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> We're done. All right, that's it. We outy, bro. Boom! There we go. At one point in time, we had three jet jars going all at the same time. I thought this was pretty awesome. I didn't think that you could make uh, like a little jet jar like so easily. Um, it's pretty awesome. Super simple. You guys can do this at home. Um, let me know in the comment section below if this kind of surprised you. If you didn't think like, wow, I can make my own jet just with like literally a jam jar. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos every Tuesday. And I'll see you really soon.